Hi, this is Shay with Trucks of Sales, here today letting another secret out of the bag. Uh, we're doing a troubleshooting video on the number one problem and fix on these DEF systems. So we're talking about the 2011 through 2022 and beyond trucks. So pretty much the number one issue that we've come across here in our mechanic shop uh, with these systems and how to avoid that problem and also how to avoid going to these uh, pirate shops and getting ripped off. So uh, we're repairing these systems all the time here in our shop. As you can imagine, all of you that own these trucks know all the different complications that come along with these DEF systems. So we've tried to narrow it down to the number one problem that we've found and uh, fixed that also uh, can fix other problems in your system as well. That would be the DEF doser injector right here. So there isn't really a sensor that tells you if this doser injector is good or bad or something like that. So typically other sensors, other engine lights are coming on when this doser injector can start to go bad. And as you can see, we got a bunch of used ones here and pretty much the problem with these is the tip on them starts to get corroded. And instead of spraying the stuff out in a fine mist, it's more coming out in drips, and then the filter system isn't getting clean properly, it's not getting hot enough, it's taking longer times to clean the uh, filter system. So instead of a regen taking 30 minutes or 40 minutes, they start taking an hour plus, and a lot of that is due to this doser injector and you might start getting different sensors reading different things and start replacing sensors and all these different things when really the problem is this doser injector itself so there's a couple different kinds of these doser injectors there's really about uh, three different kinds but this is the main one that's on all the Peterbilts and Kenworths from 2011 all the way up till 2017 and then in 2018 they switch to this other injector and uh, this injector is a little bit more money than these and speaking of the cost of these doser injectors you'll see most shops have had these at 450 dollars for years 450 bucks 450 bucks roadside mechanic any shop 450 and now they're starting to come down in price maybe 250 we have them for sale in our shop for 250 but let me tell you a little secret here you can actually get these for $30 on eBay you know so we sell them for 250 you can get them for $30 on eBay you can even sometimes get the original Bosch injectors with the Bosch logo all that stuff for somewhere around 40 50 60 dollars um, so that's definitely one thing you shouldn't be getting ripped off on is the cost of these doser injectors. Um, if I were you, I would even keep a spare one in my truck. At buying them for 30, 40, or 50 dollars, keep a spare one in your truck uh, just in case there's a problem with even the new ones. Even sometimes the genuine injectors or the newer ones can have issues with the doser injector. Um, with these being so inexpensive, uh, there's no point in really taking it apart and cleaning it and doing that stuff, although you can. There is this other small injector here that goes in the center of this uh, doser injector. So these are common and you can buy these all over the place for sometimes as low as $10. <laughs> so you can fix these for $10 and uh, put a new injector in there. And this is something that on highway use, you at least want to do every other year. You know, dump truck use, city use, something like that, where the thing's working harder, squirting more death fluid and not using the natural heat of the engine. I would replace this every year. And uh, a lot of these systems, uh, you can watch our video on that. We kind of do a comparison video on all these uh, DEF systems. But a lot of these are pretty easy to change as well. It's something uh, experienced mechanic shop should be able to do in a half hour. You know, you yourself could probably even tackle this job in a half hour. You just gotta be careful with these little fittings. 
that stuff like that doesn't get broken and you end up having to replace lines or fittings or something like that. So this is definitely a maintenance item that you want to replace. If you wait for it to go bad, it could start uh, getting clogged. You can see all these different tips. They start getting clogged, they start getting burnt, and the holes on these particular ones are super small. It's three tiny little pin holes. You know, on the freight liners and this other one here, it's more like a little shower head and not these tiny little holes. So those ones, you might be able to go more the two year end of uh, the maintenance schedule, but like I said, you keep this thing on your truck and just wait for an engine light to pop on, you're just asking for a high mechanic bill. So you might go to a shop and they're gonna want to take your filter cartridges off, go put them in an oven, bake them, all that stuff that's just not necessary. So typically you pull into a mechanic shop in derated mode, you know, or some other different temperature sensors going off, stuff like that where um, your def filter has just slowly been getting more and more clogged. Um, and that's most likely the case is because the DEF nozzle is not spraying a fine mist and really getting the filter system hot. So if you do replace the injector, you're not gonna have to pull your cartridges off and put them in an oven and bake them. A lot of shops are doing that just to raise your bill. And also your truck's sitting there even longer. And with this system right here, this dual cartridge run, wrenching this thing all apart, if the bolts are rusty, all that stuff, your bill can just be shooting through the roof as soon as you have to take things, these off. They can damage your filter cartridges taking those off. One of those things tips over, hits the ground, it could cause cracks inside of it, especially if it's an older one and it's already been getting baked for years, you could definitely have some problems like that. But putting a fresh injector on there typically will clean these out. It's, it's very rare I would say on these DEF systems that are squirting the DEF fluid that you should have to take your filters off and bake them in an oven. That's something that should be really rare. The 2008 through 11, those years that use the diesel fluid to clean out the filter system, those are a lot more prone to getting clogged and needing to be put in an oven. But with this doser injector squirting properly, it's gonna clean that filter system out. So a lot of the times, shops doing that you got to really be careful they're just running your bill up and it's just not something that you typically want to do so i would just be wary of that as soon as somebody says we have to take the filters out a lot of these shops second you roll in there oh def problem yep filters coming out everything's coming out and then they're selling you this injector at 450 dollars and charging you two or three hours to install it when really it's a 30 minute job on most trucks um so that's just definitely something to watch out for you know we're just kind of doing this video we want to help our customers out you know we sell a lot of these trucks and uh i've owned trucks driven trucks and and we've paid out just in our shop hundreds of thousands of dollars, really millions of dollars in repairs on trucks to other mechanic shops. And just on these DEF systems alone, we paid out hundreds of thousands of dollars to mechanic shops for repairing these. So you definitely um, gotta watch out. This is just licensed to send you a th multiple thousand dollar bill, you know, if you're not careful. So just definitely be careful with that. And like I said, if you already got a fresh doser injector in there, then you know it's not that, and your filter system should be getting cleaned properly. And then other than that, another common problem is the inlet outlet knock sensors. Those are something that go bad often as well. You might want to have a maintenance schedule and preemptively replace those. But really, this is the number one problem that is gonna that you're gonna run into headaches with. So definitely keep your doser injectors clean. That's gonna keep you out of the shop. Another thing is the DEF filter. Uh, that you could sometimes take out and clean, but you wanna keep that DEF filter flowing well uh, as well. Sometimes when that gets dirty, it can burn your pump out or cause the same problem where this injector isn't getting enough fluid. So definitely keep your doser injectors clean. So that's gonna cut down on all those derated modes and hopefully trips to the mechanic by just keeping this thing clean. So we replace the doser injector on every single used truck that we sell. 
And through doing that, we've experienced probably 10 times, literally, less problems with the DEF system in the first several months of ownership with our customers. Because a lot of the times, these trucks that are for sale, once they sit for two, three, four, five, six months, the doser injector, the stuff becomes all crusty on the tip of that. So if your truck's been sitting for a while, I would also recommend replacing the doser injector. Or if you go buy a truck somewhere, it's been sitting, just replace that doser injector. As you can see, it's an inexpensive part and it uh, can be real easy to uh, change as well. Thanks for watching this video and hopefully this helped you out and hopefully we'll keep you out of the mechanic shop as well. Um, we service trucks here in our shop, so if you're ever in the Houston area, stop on by and uh, we'll try to give you a fair, honest assessment of what's going on with your truck. We definitely hate all these pirate shops out here and have been dealing with pirate shops all over the nation and uh, we definitely want to be known for not being that kind of shop and we one thing that's kind of unique with our shop we have a lot of spare parts so we have a lot of test um, sensors and stuff like that that we can test on your truck instead of just charging you for a two or three or four or five hundred dollar sensor uh, a lot of the times we have a used one that we know is good we'll plug that in okay it's not the sensor where these other shops just keep throwing parts at your truck just keep taking new parts off the shelf where they're making money on it where this part you know they paid like us 30 40 50 60 dollars and they're selling it to you at 250 350 450 so a lot of shops make money on selling the parts as well so we're just trying to do honest work here and uh, you know I know exactly what it's like to be a trucker and have to depend on these things to make a living and unfortunately they complicated this whole system now to where you just have a lot more maintenance than normal and uh, just let us know in the comments uh, any troubleshooting videos that you want to see um, if there's some particular things maybe we can do that as well and we definitely got a bunch more of these planned coming up this is Shay with trucks of sales thanks for watching visit our website www.trucksofsales for more info